Hey, Jason from Elydium Games here, and today we are going to do something different from our normal schedule. Today we are going to do what's called a booster box break. This is the game Lightseekers. Lightseekers is one of my favorite TCGs at the moment. I am hardcore into this game. Um, so basically what a box break is, we will open these boosters. There are 24 boosters. There are six colors. We have divided these colors up. They have been purchased by different people. The yellow one, Astral, which is one I'm looking for personally, that's going to me. We have Mountain, we'll be going to Adrian. We have Storm, which is open for anyone to purchase from us. We have the Dread, which is going to Chris Bremi. Um, we have Nature, which is going to Ray, I think it's Watts, I can't remember his name, Ray, I do apologize. Um, we've got Tech open for grabbing. So what we're gonna do is we'll open all the boxes, we'll open all the boosters and we'll show you what's inside. And then we will, so one thing to note, these cards can be scanned into the digital game. We are going to scan them before we upload this video, so you cannot scan them, because there have been scan scanners going about, people watching live streams and scanning uh, cards of other people's, which is, I mean, it's a mix of, you can't play it, you, you can't really um, argue with the person doing it, because they're just taking an opportunity, but then it's still stealing realistically, um, but also the, the onus is on um, those that are streaming, so if you are streaming or opening any of these cards, please try to hide them, because you don't want them scanned, if you're going to do streaming, if you're going to do YouTube like us, pre-scan them and then there's nothing to worry about. So, 24 boosters, let's just dump them out. Uh, the one thing to note is all unaligned cards will be divided evenly, so I will be dividing them up as we go along. So, we have 24 boosters. Let's see what's in the first pack here. So, one thing to note, the, the TCG game is physical, but it's also now digital. You can download the digital on the Android or the iPhone. Um, it's really good because every card has a QR code around it and you can scan it. So the first thing is the dread card. We have amplification hex. We have our first unaligned, which is, I'm gonna try and cover some of this up so you can't scan them. Um, if you, uh, not that you're gonna scan them because we already scanned them, stupid me. Anyway, so the first one goes here. Then we've got an astral one. We've got another storm, shadow supply, uh, another dread shadow supplier. Tech gets itself a weapon. Tech gets a mechanical machine. Deal three damage to your target when this buff leaves play take three damage. So basically it pops in, it does three, 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 and then it'll deal you three when it leaves play. So if someone removes it, it's a pain in the neck. I think they might have changed that to when it expires, I'm not sure. We have a hero card. These are the cores of your decks. Your hero is got your life points, it's got the ability, and then it's got what elements you have access to. These are basic access, and if it's got the little fuzzy circle, which you might not see because it's a bit blurry, is mastery, so that's green, there we go. Nice, we got our first rare for Dredge. Dredge doing so doing well so far. Soul Trader, great card. Really good against uh, aggro decks because it gives you seven life, but it will take you the seven life, uh, it will reduce your life by seven over three turns. So you use other cards to remove it from play. And then we have a Foil Mantix Raider. Raider, yeah, Raider. These are really good cards against um, aggro decks or buff decks because you can get them for damage. You can go on the floor, Paul. Yeah, Wade's sitting here with us today because we're uh, we were filming a YouTube video for King Domino earlier on. So that we just finished up. He's now having a wee break playing some Ben 10. We have a green Corvid Conspiracy. Another one. We have our second on the line card, Sneaky Creep. Well, it's good because it gets by your damage reduction. Another Astro one, the Mage Ship. A lot of people use these in the early days core. Um, card for your Astro decks. Now this is a card that I've been seeing more and more play in blue. Hurricane Spirit, really good card. It does nothing, nothing, and then we get to the two. You make your opponent move two of their cards back into their hand, and you get to draw three cards, so that's really good. We have a combo card. Um, so in the game, the cards have two choices. They have action, which usually have one symbol, and combo, which have duels. Now when you play a combo, you remove two cards from, you, you remove the cards that pay for it from your hand, and that's how you put it. We have Scorchio, uh, Scorchio, Scoria, a uh, new uh, mountain hero, so there we go. Then in Astro, we have Four Shield Combo, our rare, nice, check that, that is a solid good card for blue. It's Flood, Flood is part of a, at the current moment, there is a deck where you can nigh on go infinite, but it is getting the card in the deck called Spirit Gate, which is a purple card, is getting a rat, so you can't. Sucks because I played that deck. Then we have a foil green weapon. So, so far, looking like green's got the most at the moment. We will keep going. So who's on the nature? Nature is Ray. So Ray will be stomping it in the moment. Uh, this very minute in the video, Adrian will be a bit upset because he's only got, oh, there we go, second card, not too bad. So we have an Inferno, nice card. We'll stick out there. Then for green, Spiritual Turmoil. Let's see what this says. This says, deal damage to your target if this buff expires. Move it to your hand instead of your discard pass. So effectively, you can reoccur that card, it's nice. 
Then we have an Umbron Thief. This is really good in some um, heal decks because they like to deal damage try to heal up. I mean, I personally don't like it. So that's that one. We have, there we go, look at that, Shard Flame. It is just straight up, tick, 12 damage. Boom, sorted. So there we go. We have, ah, Tech card. This is a really good card for Tech. It is six damage. The recipient receives, uh, draws a card. Now, it seems like a downside, but it really well in the Tempest decks. We have a blue hero. We have Mika, just straight up 33 life with Mastery to Water. No bonuses on there. This is my most irritated, hated, annoying Astral card. The Paralysis Bug because it comes into play, your opponent draws a card, it stops you, the enemy, uh, you, it stops you being able to, like, if someone plays it against you, you can no longer draw cards, you can't play defense. Now I played a dual deck, which is all about drawing cards. This screws me up so much, it's so irritating. So yeah, good card. Um, then we have a Fungal Leecher in green, which is nice. And, ah, oh, look at that. That. Two stars out to you by other uh, heroes. Paul and Weaver, I believe that. If I remember that, it's banned. So I feel sorry for you, Ray. I'm sorry. What we'll do is we'll, if you want, we can replace that with a card from our collection that's usable. Is it Paul and Weaver that's banned? I can't remember. I'll double check that. But yeah, so that's a foil Paul and Weaver. We'll give you the foil Paul and Weaver anyway, even if it is banned, and we'll put in an extra card for you. Let's have a look at the next pack here. It seems like Ray's been on the big hit for this one. Hey, there we go. Celerity for tech. Take an extra action. So basically you get two actions per turn. And this allows you to gain a, a third action. It is a combo and a buff so it can be removed. We also have a Spark Wisp for um, Storm, which is cool. Vitalizing Frog. It's a solid card in literally every Storm deck because it's six healing and that can swing a tide of a battle. Rock Rager for mining. Rock Rager combos well with the bat. Pollen Weaver is banned. It is banned. So what we'll do is we'll give you another card on top of that, Ray. And um, we'll give you the foil as well, just because they're nice to have. Rock Rager works with Crystal Bat. Crystal Bat does three damage to your opponent, heals you for three. Then this says if you've been deal three damage, but if you've been healed, do an additional three. So you effectively do nine damage and you heal for three, which is good. We have Cedrus. He has an ability of deal one damage to another hero. You get a lot of heroes with these abilities. I personally meh. Don't like that ability. Um, there's a weapon. These weapons are used to allow, so say you were Cedrus and you attach this weapon, you can have up to two points waiting. <laughs> two minutes. So uh, the camera will run out of charge. So we're gonna finish this pack. We'll not charge, sorry, it only does 10 minutes since. We'll finish this pack, we'll redo, and we'll keep going. So if you want to play with blue and Cedrus, you add this weapon, you can have two points worth of weapons. So yeah, next we have Bombling, I hate this card because basically it ticks and then the next attack they do does an additional six. Boom, look at that. Another great card for this exactly card I was on about. Play this, heal for seven, use Devourer, remove it, heal for another five. Great card for the Dread. And then we have a Tyrax Mercenary, just a straight damage five. So Ooh, yeah. And we're back. <laughs> yeah, so basically we've got 10 minute limit because we're recording 1080p and we haven't quite figured out if we can do any better. So yeah, next up we have Chronomoth, great. Three damage, draw one card. In Astro, we have a combo Full Moon. Another Astro combo of Planetary Alignment. I don't know if you can see this probably. We're hoping not. Uh, nah. Withering for Dread, another good one for Dread. We have another hero for the Storm. It is Crab Rider Nita. Again, it's got that one damage to a hero. Um, Time Worm, really good. Move your last discarded combo cards to your hand. So it's great for Reoccursion. This Storm Shaman, really good for Storm decks because basically what does it takes and everything you do does four additional damage. There's a version of this in the red decks called Colossal Ritual Sight. So yeah, it's really good. Another one for Storm, we have Broken Dam. What's this? Deal damage to your target at the start of your turn. This buff rotates if your target has a buff in play. That's pretty cool. So if they have no buffs, they just keep taking two at the start of every turn. So boom. And then Vine Lash. Vine Lash, a really good combo for the nature. A lot of people have been doing a Nature Dread, so you Vine Lash, hits it for 14, use a Dread card called Mimicking Horror to copy it, deal 28 damage in one hit, just like that. Yeah, simple as, serious damage. Can be disrupted very easily and that really can uh, stuffer your plans, but yeah, that's that. Next pack, da -da -da, we have, ah, Tyrex Fixer. Four healing, if you're less than 15, you heal for an extra three, so seven healing effectively. Combo for Dread, Shadow Prison, yes. 
Booyah. We have Boulder Feast for red. So the real, there we go. We're actually getting some stuff because Adrian will be sitting wondering where all the red is. Um, an astronomer for astro. Shapeshifter for astro. A weapon for green. And we have Unstable Defender for tech. First corner deals damage to your target. So it deals one damage. Uh, first three corners, so one damage, two damage, two damage. The fourth corner, your target moves three buffs, action cards from their hand to their deck. So you basically get rid of cards. That goes there. We have a Ursa as the hero for tech. And the rare, ah, oh, good one. Rickety Mine, quite common in Dolo decks. I believe it might be getting used in Granite decks, but that's all changing because as of the 7th of August, there is a new set coming out called Kindred. Kindred has all the new cards, all the new stuff, and it also comes with a new list of banned cards. We have Mantix Raider in green. We have Bone Weaver in dread, which is a good card. A lot of people like it. Well, we're kind of getting a bit of a mess here. So what we'll do is when we split for the next pack, uh, we'll quickly tidy up. Uh, we have Burst of Venom combo for dread. We have Bubblefish. Love Bubblefish. Damage reduction is great for every Storm deck, basically. Hey, buddy. Shh, because if not, the people won't hear me talking. Time... Title shift for Astro, weapon for Astro. Ah, oh, look at this combo for. So this is a cross order combo. This is where your weapons come in. This is Mountain Tech, and it's nothing. Deal fourteen damage. So that's pretty good. Uh, that's gonna go in. Well, what we'll do is we'll shuffle these up at the end, and we'll. In fact, you know what? I hadn't really thought about this. We'll put this as an unaligned card effectively. So I'll go with the unaligned card. So we're doing pretty well here. Um, Cecilia is the hero for green. She's a rare, and there we go. Look at that. Foil, Colossal Ritual, Colossal Artifact, that's really good. Um, reduces means you can't take no more than four damage from uh, action card. So we'll put that there. So what we'll do is we'll just add in the multi cards there. Next up we have... I'm just going to look to Chris to check the time of the camera. We've still got time for this one. We'll get this pack done. So we've got Life, in Life Binding, which is, yep, pretty good. <laughs> Dusk Feeder. Ah, Ancient Miner, really good for... Um, Mountain decks because you basically allows you to draw extra cards and there's nothing better than drawing cards. Sunstrike, Wall, Storm Wall, really good for any Storm decks because basically you can deal them for damage, you don't be attacked. Rotates, they can get you, but if they don't, it gets back in. Nice. Um, impressed Sludge Fin, don't like it. Meh. Another underlying card, a uh, Creeble Infiltrator. We've got a Hero for Blue which is Elise, and then cool, a rare for Astral. Boom, that is a cool one, Reality Twister, because basically it means Astral relies on a lot of their last cards being, the last card in their discard being a specific type. This means it's all types. Jump cut, tidied up, keep going. Okay, so next pack. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, just for a Reality Twister for Astral, is really good because Astral rely on the last card being a specific um, piece. Ah, there we go. Great card for Dread, this um, Shadow Knight means you can't be attacked and you basically um, increase shadow damage and healing by 2-2-2, two, two, two. it's really good. We have a Caribble Jester, great card against Blooming Granite decks. Granite just draws, draws, draws till it has a fat hand and this will screw him up. Next up we have, oh this goes here, we're back around, cool. Next we have Fountain of Time for Tech, we have Stream of Thanos for Mountain, really good. Pretty much a staple in most mountain decks because it does. It's a defend card. It's also seven healing and six damage. We have Leo. You'll see Leo in all the time. He's pretty much everywhere. Then we have boom, cold snap for the blue. We then ah, look at that. Who's got that one? So this is going to go in the astral. I'm actually not going to take. Um, what I'm going to do is any unaligned cards in the astral pile, which are mine, will be reshuffled and distributed. We have an umbra on informant. Really good card. Basically lets you drop cards equal to your opponent's hand. So, and then, we oh, look at that. That's a solid tech card, Warden of Time. It was used in Sicario decks where, when they had Flynimal, Flynimal's gonna be banned so it won't get used. Basically, anytime one of your buffs about to move, this lets you get cards back from your graveyard, really good. So that goes there. Uh, we have a Foil Spirit Mob. I like the foils in this game, it's really nice. So there we go, next pack, boom, boom. So yeah, this is uh, one thing we're trying to box break. So we've got this pack now. Um, we're doing Awakenings today, we've got Mythical for next week, and then we will be doing Kindred when Kindred drops. Another Tyrex Fixer, Vine Lash again in Normal, another Spirit Mob, Non-Foil, Prism Cannon, one of the core cards in one of the starter decks for Mountain, does nothing for three turns, but on the last turn does eight damage, but what you can do is you can line it up, so when it's like here, you get a card that does 
in the next corner just plus damage they all tick and do damage there was also a deck i personally made with um stubborn everrock and uh, there's a red card that copies basically so that was pretty cool so that's another red one we have fungal spores for green combo nice and a hero for dread Varilla. now i was looking at this one she lets you rotate one of your action boss forward so i was trying to figure that one out pretty cool we have time chamber for tech oh now dust fiend for storm is a great card because it ha could be used to pay for any element in a combo so you can cross order and use this which is really handy i use it myself our rare oh look at that you'll be delighted with this one adrian flame chain warrior great card because it basically is you deal them damage and you can rotate one of the buffs so if they've got protection you deal them damage it reduced by the protection but you can push it forward so it's out of the way sooner nice good card Where, oh there's not a foil in every pack in this one ah. i thought it was foil in every pack i forgot now it's been so long since i opened these packs there we go flame bat a lot of people use it in thingy ah moss ridge moss ridge defender is the damage reduction for green every color has their own damage reduction combo for mountain uh, reduced damage in view nitro heal dirty card for tech oh i just realized i put that on the wrong pile We'll stick that over there. We have Draga Hunter, which is cool. We have Bulwark Carrier for tech. Oh, look at that. You will be ecstatic. Chris, that's a Sicario. Great card for um, Dread. This is pretty much the only Dread card that I'll play because he lets you put two buffs into play, which is speeds up um, tempo, which is really nice. Then we have another combo. This combo will go to the tech section. It is a dual color. Damage you target, so it's Astral and Mountain, and it does seven, five, four damage. And then we have a Foil Symbiotic Gnarler. So, not too bad. Uh, next up, we have. Da -da -da. Bum, bum. We have a Spirit Mob. That's that. We have a Murky Water. Now, I've been playtesting this with um, Tuna because it's a two cost um, combo. It's pretty good. Um, in a tech card, we have Ramparts. We then have Heroic Starfish. Um, the box break idea came from Heroic Starfish who do Lightseer box break, so thank you very much for that idea. Um, we have a weapon for Mountain, which is just a, uh, gives you Mastery and Flame. Uh, it's not Flame, is it Flame? Fire, sorry. Um, Spore Feeder for uh, Nature. A Hero for Nature, just 33. Mastery and uh, Soul, and no ability. Ah, look at that. We have a Rare for the Tech. It's Tyrax Engineer. Reveal top four cards of your deck for every mechanical. I believe this card just got banned in the new system. Yes, it, it did, yeah. They anticipate this could be a broken card, so they've banned it. Sorry, whoever gets tech. Crystal Bat. This is the card I was on about. Goes with Rock Rager. It's a foil one, too. Well done. Good one, Adrian. You should test that out. It's a good combo to have an L in my deck. Yeah, so they've been, obviously, they've been changing the rules a little, banning errata cards because they're still, it's, again, the game's a year old, but it's, it's, it's just over a year old, but it's really good. I mean, it's amazing. Another Vine Lash for Nature. Another Spirit Mob for Nature. Now, this is the only thing with Awakenings is you'll get a lot of duplicates because it's a smaller set. And it was the first set they released. With Mythical and Kindred, you're going to have a bigger range. So we have Solar Winds for Astro. Shapeshifter for Astro. Uh, another copy of Virla for Tech. Good One Storm gets another Shaman. Um, a weapon for Astro. There you look at that. Nuke for Tech. It does nothing, 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 and then on the last turn it does 17 damage, remove all buffs from target. So basically your opponent loses. And we have a foil sneaky creeble which goes to nature, and that was, if I remember right, is Ray. So yeah. We're just gonna do this pack. So here we go, we got Prism Can again, nice. Uh, there's buff removal in green, Roulette, Reckless Spirit. Uh, Crystal Leech for red, really good. There's their buff removal in every deck. Um, I do apologize for any interruptions. Uh, my son's with me today. He's just wandering about the shop making a noise, but yeah, it's cool. It's mad. Uh, Nitro Heal. Uh, we've got Weapon for Nature. We have Unstable Defender for Tech. Oh, look at that. Whoever gets Storm is going to be happy because that's a pretty cool one. Living Whirlpool. This can mess up um, buff based decks because it removes all their buffs. Ah. Oh, Damn it, look at that, Adrian. There you go. Got yourself a granite. It means you can build that douchebag granite deck. Good man. There you go. Uh, Sky ship. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's in this booster. Ah, we start off with a Draga Hunter for. Draga Hunter for. That's okay. Go play. Dice film. 
bit of it. Dragon Hunter for Dread. We have a Shambler for Dread. We have a Mantix Tunneler. I'm getting a bit faster now because we're kind of just going to speed through it. We have a Heroic Starfish for Blue. We have a Coercive Spirit for Nature. Two damage recipient moves three buff cards from the hand to deck. Ooh, that's pretty good against um, buff based decks um, like Sicario. Meku the Young, um, hero for nature, she is pretty good. Cool snap, nice combo for um, Storm. We have ourselves, well, 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 well. We have an Ambron Informant for um, Unaligned, which will go to Adrian in his um, granite deck, but which will upset Adrian is we got another dual colored one which just came out, so it goes in the Dread, which goes to. I think the dread is Chris, so it's a foil avalanche. That's a blooming good card. Well done, uh, Chris. You'll enjoy that one. You got to build a deck around it. Um, I built a deck around it. It's the Ushi deck, and it uses um, Crystal Core just to get access for that card. We have Fungal Spores for Nature, Flame Bat for Mountain, another Moss Ridge Defender, which is good for the green, Healing Rain, which is a cool one. Um, I've been using in the Tuna deck online. Overload. I've not actually played with much. Um, another hero, this hero is for tech, its ability is one of your action buffs one step forward, so kind of like a Varilla for thingy, um, cool. Um, we have time chamber for tech, our rare is living thorns. Deal damage to your target, reduce damage received by four then two, it's for nature, and the foil is uh, cloud harvester for, uh, for storm. How are we getting on, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, three, Six, eight packs left, so we're getting there. Not too bad. I go learn to count one day, don't worry about it. It's all good. Oh, hang on. Yeah, eight packs left, eight packs. Lots of rubbish inside. Hey, Frenzy Creeble, I like this card because I run this in my Dolo deck because three damage, if you've less than four cards, it does an additional three. This goes to, oh, it goes to my pack. Uh, I'll redistribute mine. Um, Overwhelming Blast is great, 11 damage, take two for tech. Beast Control for nature. Shadowy Figure is a really good one. Um, you basically can, so we figured it in the heroes, they've got three symbols in their heroes, let me quickly find a hero. And um, we figured out that that's usually your attack, that's your heal, and that's your tech based stuff. So it means you can name their tech based, either heals to remove them or whatever you want to remove. This one goes to tech, which is open. Um, Bone Chewer for tech. We have Dustfiend, great, another one for the storm. Again, that's open. So we still have tech and storm. If you'd like to purchase them, just let us know. Uh, Bulwark Carrier for a thing, uh, there we go, that's the Mimic and Horror for Dread I was on about. Run this with Vine Lash and you can double up on 28 damage. And we have another hero for, a foil hero for Nature. Ah, we're getting there, nearly done. Do -do -do -do. Rum -bum -bum. Hey, there we go, we've got a uh, buff removal for Storm, which is a slug, really good. Hey, Night Lurker, great card for Dread, I use it with my Sicario deck. We have a... Dancing Flutter, which I'm using in my Ushi deck, no, Ushi Tuna deck, so we'll see how that goes. Astral Priest for thingy, we have Lynx for a hero for Astral. We have a green card, Flower Garden, healing, increased healing done by 2, 2, 2, 2, so it does it, it's a, these are clunky corners, you've got round corners and clunky corners, clunky corners are triggered. Um, oh, nice, uh, Blazing Cauldron for Mountain, our rare is Black Hole for Astral, nice, I needed one of these. Uh, oh, nice. Foil Hurricane Spirit for Storm. How are we looking for time, Chris? Five minutes. Ah, we've got five minutes. We'll keep opening packs. We'll get. We'll probably get this pack. Maybe another pack, and then we'll... One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll probably do this pack, and one more pack. And then what we'll do is we'll do the last few minutes. Just with the camera, the video thingies. Um, we can only do ten minutes, let's say. Uh, Body Morph for Tech. Flicker. Time Flicker for Tech. Time Flicker is a ridiculously good card. Two cost combo. Draw four cards, gain a distraction. Not only do you draw four cards, gain a distraction, you get to draw the end for it being a combo. Uh, Stump, Stump Drift Shaman for Nature. Murky Water for Storm. Rampart for Tech. Soul of Wall for Nature. And for Mountain, nice one. You'll need this for your uh, granite deck when you build it there, uh, Adrian. There's a Shattered Volcano. Then we have Clockwork Construct for Tech. And a foil Cedrus. There we go. One more pack on this section. We'll quickly tidy a wee bit up. Um, this is a bit of a pain in the neck. I do apologise if it's uh, disruptive, but here we go. Um, the jump cut should be nice and easy. Uh, Pathfinder for Astral. 
Soul Thief for Dread, Everrock Relic for Mountain. I should probably show them this way. I'm reading them and then not really showing them. Uh, Anti Gravity Snail for Astral, Face Shift for Astral. Now we have a Hero for Mountain Quartz. We have a Dimensional Hunter for Astral. A hey, uh, rare for te uh, for mountain is magma blast, and then the foil is yeah, that's a foil weapon. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. We're just gonna keep going because we got three minutes left. Let's keep cracking. Ah, oh, we got three minutes. We could get through this if I do it fast. Boom, boom, boom. We've got a living cloud again. Using this in, uh, tuna deck, really good. Crystal bat, good one. Still one for your deck there, Adrian. Uh, crackling beast for nature. Uh, for storm. Monix Montix spitter for dread. Regen chamber for tech. Ambush Worm from Mountain. Ah, there we go. Nice one. Cloud King Kashi, great card for um, the Storm deck. So there you go. Um, oh, Earth Shaker. Uh, damage your target multiplayer. So it's not a rare for thingy. And the foil is Inferno. So there you go, Adrian. It was looking poor at the start. It picked up at the end. We got three packs to go. Ugh. Get this pack open. Ah, oh, good. Shadow Puppet for Dread. Really good car stable card for buff removal. We have... Steel Fortification for tech, Fumbling Malcolmist for tech, Rock Fist for um, Mountain, uh, good uh, weapon for Dread, weapon for Mountain, there we go, Tsunami, this will be going to, do 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 do, Ray, Ray you just got yourself Tsunami, it is a multi combo, uh, is damage to your target, game one additional action, it's nothing nothing 14, um, Nature has a Lulu Rascal as a rare, and a Foil Celerity in tech. So, let's have a quick look. Some people like to pre-choose on these things before they get going. So we've got Chimcharu, Corrupted Spirit. Some people like to pay before and enjoy the, the chance of what they might get. Some people like to see the box opening and then buy the cards based on what's been pulled. Um, Liv Lightning Storm for Storm. Oakthorn Warrior. Another Hero for Dread. Spore Feeder for Nature. Skyward Observatory for Astro. Ah, oh, yes. Adrian, these are rare. Geode Hatchling for Mountain. Good, good, good. And a Chronomoth Foil for Tech. Final pack, we're just about there. We're nearly done. Let's see what this fence and all that. Let's have a look in this last pack. Now, let's see. We have Cleansing Wind for Storm. Rigor Mortis for Dread. Really good combo. Pretty nifty. Ah, Magma Spitter for Mountain. Six damage, you take two, but if you time it up a closer rich site, they take nine, you take nothing. For Mountain, we have Crystal Skin. For Maxili, Maxili, the hero for tech. Nice. Oh, I'm really happy. Spectral Guide, I was needing one of these. And Calissa, ritual site for Mountain, which you really need, as I said. That's the one I was on about. For the last rare of the pack is Wind Controller for Storm. And the final follow foil is full moon so we are noting here that i have three unaligned cards in my section we have two we've got three 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 so what we'll do is we'll just shuffle these up and we will put frenzy cable for the storm umbron informant for the mountain so you've got two umbron informants and then this one i will just give to whoever buys tech um other than that if you have any questions about this box break, let us know. That was the box break. We got some good pulls from everyone. Um, i got to say my favourites are the Foil Avalanche, Granite for that deck, and I'm pretty happy I got a couple of astral cards I was looking for. Um, we will be doing a mythical box break. If you'd like to take part, please comment below. We have some of the slots already filled up, so I will note in the video below what's already filled. Um, if not, check our Facebook page, Elidium Games. Um, we also have the Light Seekers, Elidium Style is our Facebook page for the Elidium Games thingy. Um, check it out um, that's the box break what more can I say we will be doing Awakenings Kindred and when we get into it we'll probably be doing the Warhammer Age of Sigmar training card game from Playfusion remember all these game cards can be scanned into your game we will all pre-scan these before we upload this video so you can't scan them and we will yeah we'll do another box break enjoy